This is Group Bell. Due to a severe case of boredom, we hereby present... The Adventures of Dom Tuffy. Yes, it's Dominic J. Tuffy, toll-free investigator extraordinaire, who has arrested numerous communication satellites for carrying toll-free calls, handcuffed line finders for giving dial tones to phone freaks, and confiscated the tone from the Montreal International Center. As our episode begins, we find our hero, Dom Tuffy, engaged in his favorite telephone pastime. Five cents. Ten cents. Twenty-five cents. Love that dog. Five cents. Ten cents. Dom? Zelda, how many times do I have to tell you not to bother me when I'm listening to my favorite recording? Dom, don't you think it's time to call the office? Uh, maybe you're right. They're gonna have to change that recording when they get their rate increase. <laughs> Can't wait for hours. Uh, now, where did I put that number? Let's see. The number for the office. Uh, the number for information. Uh, the number for the operator. Oh, I have that number. <laughs> I remember it. Waiting this long for an operator. And they want a rate increase. If they knew it was Dom Tuffy calling. Can we help you? Uh, operator, give me the number for local information. 411. Uh, 141. No, no, 411. Uh, uh, wait a second. 4, right? Right. Uh, what's next? 1, 1. 1, uh, what's, after, what's after the second one? 1. It's just 411, that's all. Uh, affirmative. 411. A crisp, business-like good afternoon. <laughs> Directory assistance. Uh, yeah. Operator? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, no. Negative, negative. Uh, give me the number of security office at, uh, 140 Test Street. Go look it up yourself. I've got better things to do. Hello? The funniest busy signal I ever heard. I better try again. Uh, yeah. Give me the number of the security office at, uh, 140 Test Street. I'm sorry, sir. We're not permitted to give out that number. Give me the number. This is Dominic J. Tuffy. Are you refusing to give Mr. Tuffy his own number? No, sir. I was just... Is that any way to speak to your service assistant? I'm sorry, Miss Provisor. <laughs> that number is 391-4184. Nine three one eight one four four. No, sir. Three nine one. Uh, nine one three. No, sir. Three. Three. Nine. Nine. One. One. Four. Uh, four. One. One. Eight. Eight. Four. Four. Uh, affirmative. Three nine one four one eight four. Haha, <laughs> we're gonna charge for information soon. Let's see. service, and they want a rate increase. Operator, may I help you? Uh, yes. Could you get me 391-4184? You can call that number direct, sir. Well, I've had trouble getting through. I'm sorry. I'm I got a busy signal correct. before I was finished dialing. Uh, hello, 
freak. How about that name of yours? Change it. I don't like it. Yes, sir. Have there been any calls for me? They don't answer. Uh, and wait a second, operator. Is there a charge condition on this call? No, there's not. Freak, are you muting again? Uh, well, I was just testing out the confiscated... I could have expected something like this from someone with a name like yours. But, sir, uh... Consider yourself under arrest when I get there on Monday morning. Uh, sir, does, does this mean I'm fired? Uh, yeah. And Freak? Yes, sir? Don't bother to change name. It'll sound better in court. Never trust a Freak. Hey, that's good. Zelda. Yes, dear? Quick, write this down. Never trust a Freak. There's nothing to write on. What am I going to use? I don't care. Quick, before I forget it. Never trust a Freak. Write it down. Yes, dear. Zelda? Yes, dear? Next time, I wish you wouldn't write with red crayon on my bell system wallpaper. Be with us next time as we hear our hero utter those immortal words. We're a profit-making organization. This is a Group Bell production.